She is. No, 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 no. <laughs> Take it away. You got this. Um, so I won my first WTA 500, and you backed it up and won another 500. So we had a good week. Yeah. Alex, summarise the weekend for me. Uh, the weekend was uh, was a great weekend, actually. We we both played some uh, pretty good tennis, uh, and there was definitely not a lot of sleep involved. <laughs> uh, a lot of travelling uh, from one of us, of course. Uh, <laughs> And, and yeah, it was a it was a perfect weekend that ended out with a, a nice in and out. Dinner. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we had an in and out before we travelled here, so yeah, it was perfect. Yeah. Thank you. So Alex, let's start chronological order. Your final was on Saturday. Tell me where you were, who you were playing, and what happened there. So my final was Saturday 9 p.m. Uh, in Acapulco against Casper Ruud. And I finished final, finished media at around 1 a.m. Had uh, transport to go to the airport at 4.15 a.m. So decided to kind of stay awake and pack and, and do all that because sleeping was overrated. <laughs> um, and 6.20 fly to, from Acapulco to Tijuana crossed the border and made it to San Diego at around 10.30 yeah. and yeah, waited all day because it decided to rain in San Diego for Katie's final and then Katie just went out there and smashed it and made it uh, an unbelievable weekend. Now Katie, tell me about your week in San Diego, you were, like you said you won your first 500, tell me about that week though to get to that point. Uh, yeah, it was... It was pretty unexpected I think for me. I came into the tournament just trying to get a few matches and I would have been quite happy and I was playing really well on the practice court all week so I was prepared to win a couple matches and then somehow I ended up in the final playing some of the best tennis I've played in a very long time and uh, I don't know how but I managed to get over the line and it was a bit, little bit of a fairy tale for me. How special was it that Alex was able to get there in time because I'm sure normally that wouldn't be able to I mean, I was kind of hoping he wouldn't come, but he insisted he on it, so... <laughs> Go on, tell the camera. No, I, uh, obviously I was very happy he was there. Uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was the perfect timing for everything. Obviously playing Saturday as well, it worked out a dream. So yeah, it was nice to have him and my full family as well, uh, all in one place. Had you been able to watch Alex's final the night before? Yeah, we actually watched it at the dinner table. I was having Italian food and we were kicking off in the restaurant and people were looking at us a little bit weird. But <laughs> yeah, he did incredibly well. It was so, so fun to watch. And at that point, are you on your phone trying to calculate if it's even physically possible for him to get to your final time? Well, I knew you'd kind of mentioned it a little bit to me before that he might make the effort even if he won or lost. But, uh, yeah. you know, I, I believe it when I see it with him, so you never know. Um. That was dedication right there. <laughs> Uh, I also had been uh, copying it uh, a fair bit because uh, I hadn't watched uh, a live match of hers uh, up to that day. Mm -hmm. So this year, this year, the so, whole year. So yeah, she was uh, definitely giving me a fair bit of grief. So <laughs> I told myself, no matter what happens, I had this 6 a.m. <laughs> flight, and. Well, basically told me I might as well try and win because if not, it was going to be a miserable, <laughs> <laughs> <flight>. miserable Sunday. <laughs> but yeah, it was uh, it was pretty funny all all week long. Um, we probably both didn't expect it. I uh, kept on getting uh, messages from this one about how she wasn't feeling comfortable with the conditions. <laughs> she wasn't liking the balls. She wasn't liking this, and uh, ended up being a, a pretty surreal week for both of us. And yeah, I was going to ask, when you're both playing in the same league, do you, how do you stay in touch and sort of, do you talk much tennis, especially I guess on a week like that where you're both just winning on win? Yeah, I think we do. I mean, we talk a little bit of tennis. I think it's kind of natural. We're both in the environment, so um, it's great to kind of hear that he's struggling too. It makes me feel good. <laughs> <laughs> but I always know when he says he's struggling, he's actually playing very well and probably winning a lot of matches. So um, it was actually quite a nice way that it worked, that he was always one-upping me and I wanted to match him. So it kind of felt like a, a nice little role going on to the rest of the week. But it just made me want the final even more because he won. It, this is not a competitive relationship <laughs> at all. No, not at all. <laughs>
exactly. Let's say, do you push each other on in that sort of situation? I think so. I think this week really helped us. Well, it helped me anyway. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, we're constantly trying to push each other. Um, we help each other in, in different aspects. We're quite different uh, uh, in some ways and quite similar in others. So we help each other in different aspects. And, and yeah, it worked out last week. Um, made it a, a fairy tale week. Last couple. So can you tell me the emotion of lifting that trophy and then tell me again about the celebration. Uh, yeah, I mean the emotion of actually lifting the trophy, uh, it felt a little bit numb actually because I think I'd kind of played some really good tennis and you know the whole week was building but when I actually got to the final it hit me in the first set that I was in the final of a WTA 500 and that the moment was actually one of the biggest of my career so for me it was just a way of composing myself and relaxing and, and trying to get through it and just reminding myself that I've, I've had a great week regardless and I managed to do that from the second set onwards which was great and then we had a uh, massive celebration we drove straight to in and out had a fantastic burger and then drove straight to Indian Wells so that was literally the celebration for us um, but yeah it was great because my mum was there my family were there my full team were there um, Unfortunately, your team wasn't, but uh, I'm sure once these swimmers are over, we'll have a nice dinner together. Wonderful. And now, Alex, you won an accomplished player on tour this year, getting the first 500. What's next for you both? Well, uh, we started the year well. <laughs> um, hopefully, we can keep it going. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's a long year, so um, hopefully, for the rest of the year, uh, we will both be winning a lot of tennis matches. We will be. Uh, hopefully enjoying each other's company. That's uh, yet to be determined. <laughs> and, and yeah, and enjoying it out there. Yeah. Thank you both. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, see? It's like we actually like each other. No, 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 no. No one ever said that. <laughs>